Hi guys, this is Nick J. Bout from Video Masterclass on YouTube. Um, now, I want to do a shot in a car as if from a drama, but cars are notoriously difficult because uh, it's dark inside the car and a lot of the times you've got sun on the walls in the background, so depending on which way you shoot, it's kind of quite bright. All right for documentary, not a problem, but I want it to look more dramery, more naturalistic. Um, now, bearing in mind that with a um, inside a car, it's all right if it's slightly darker on the skin tone inside the car because after all, they are inside side um, you know they are being sh uh, shielded from the roof of the car and the beams of the car so it's alright to be a little bit darker so you don't need to have loads of light crashing in but I don't have any artificial lights with me or I'm on a location where there's no power um, so what I've got is I have a mirror and a reflector a mirror and a reflector. Now, normally, what you'd do, I don't know whether you can see that. Normally, what you would do is you would have somebody standing at the end of the bonnet with a reflector, kind of reflecting light in. But, you know, I don't really want that. I want something a bit more dramatic. So, I'm going to set it up um, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, not bad. So we've got the intensity. So there you go. That's kind of quite nice. Now, what we've got now is the light is coming through the windscreen oops, from the mirror directly onto my face. So it doesn't matter whether we've got direct sunlight outside on the, uh, on the wall or in the background. That's going to be the same intensity. So wherever we shoot in the background, where now it's not going to be overexposed. And as you can see, all the way around, that's quite nice. And that's kind of without playing with the exposure. And that's quite sort of moody. Um, you know, you've got sort of, you can have a separate reflector coming in here, but you know, the, the thing is with, when you're working with mirrors and reflectors, the most important thing is that when you're outside and you don't have artificial lights, is that you want intensity. You want lights, control, and intensity. Now with a mirror you don't have much control but you've got intensity now where we're leveraging the sun and we've got it coming at a workable angle. Now it's up that's the most important thing it's up to you as the cameraman now to you know don't look at this and say oh the lights going everywhere that's up to you now you've got the intensity that's up to you to sort of then control the light by feathering the edges or maybe putting some translucent material over the windscreen uh, like um, some 216 or some F1 which is like a translucent sheet or maybe a shower curtain, a white shower curtain draped across the window of the car that will soften the light uh, tremendously. It will also cut a lot of the light down but it will soften the light tremendously uh, and that would give you a very very soft feel but I actually quite like this um, I'm going by what I'm seeing on the monitor so my little monitor isn't great that's going up a little bit uh, that might be fine it might be a little bit too bright looks like it's going a bit bright in the background but my face is going up with the same amount of brightness so that's kind of um, you know that's not bad I like that but we'll try it we'll try it with a little bit of fill from this side as well okay so this is with uh, the reflector down here that reflector is not at the best angle uh, it's the best that I could get it that's without 
that soon. That's without. That's in. Yeah, I think that's that's it there. It's probably a bit bright that I need to take the exposure down, but I don't have an arm. So let me just do that. Right, that's the main light, which the uh, I must confess the sun has just gone in a little bit, so that's probably looking a little bit dark. But uh, if I wanted to take it round to here, there you go. We're a bit tighter just because of the nature of the lens. Um, so that's without. And that's with just offering a little bit of a kick light on the side of my chin there, which just kind of adds to the effect. You can see that there. And also puts a little bit of light into my eyes as well, which is important, obviously. take the exposure down a little bit and I am actually using a manual camera a manual exposure because you need to be able to do that right the Sun's come back out to where it was um, for the initial shot there you go just a little bit on the chin there on the side of the face which is quite nice for kind of dramatic purposes all right there you go, there's a quick way in which you can, um, you know, just boot some light into a car um, using nothing but the sun. Obviously you have to wait between takes and stuff uh, for the sun to come in and out. But, it, you know, it gives a nice effect, it's quite a dramatic effect, uh, puts a bit of shape on the face. Um, and it's it's quite good because just about anything else you're going to be bat you're going to be uh, battling the bright background because it won't be able to compete with what the sun is doing on the background. So if you're using the sun, then obviously that makes it a lot easier. Okay, this has been Nick J Barrett showing you how to. Um, bang light into a car I guess. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos um, as I upload them you can subscribe to my channel there'll be a little yellow button up the top there somewhere and uh, you'll be apprised every time I upload a new video. I will speak to you in another video. All the best. Bye bye.